meningitis scare at a high school on Long Island. And good evening to you at 6 o'clock on Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. Great Net North High School on Nassau County has notified students and parents about an employee who came down with the infection. Yeah, the bacteria can be transmitted by close contact and it can be pol potentially deadly. I want to use reporter Stacey Sager is at the school with our lead story tonight. Stacy. Well, you know, Liz, this is a severe type of bacterial infection, but according to the Nassau County Health Department, it is extremely rare. In fact, this case here at Great Neck North High School, it's the only case of its kind in Nassau County all year. Nevertheless, precautions are being taken. Today happened to be what's called Senior Ditch Day here at Great Neck North High School. And considering the latest meningitis scare, some students were probably relieved to stay home. A letter from the Great Neck superintendent explaining that on May 14th, an individual was diagnosed with bacterial meningococcal disease. The letter goes on to say, quote, there's no need to panic and casual contact as might occur in a regular classroom or office setting is not usually significant enough to cause concern. Instead, those with closer contact have been told to take preventive antibiotics. And that close contact means being within um, just a couple of feet from somebody and, and again for, for several hours is really what's considered to be a close contact. In the case at this school, the individual who became sick, identified by students as an employee, did not actually get meningitis. That is, the bacteria never spread to the fluid in that person's brain and spinal cord, according to the Nassau County Health Department. Nevertheless, it is still considered to be more severe than viral meningitis. The meningococcus bacteria, when it causes meningitis, it can happen very rapidly and it, it tends to be associated with the most harm. Students today with varying degrees of concern. It is definitely scary, you know, being in a school, finding out someone has something. It is contagious. I don't think it's that big of a deal because I think it's been contained and I think that there's no present danger in the building right now. Now, the dates of any possible exposure were May 14th, 15th, and 16th, also May 23rd, 24th, and 25th. The symptoms of this include high fever, rash, and stiff neck. But once again, important to point out, there have been no other illnesses here since, and the person who came down with this is now recovering. 